injured, I know CPR and can totally walk you through it. Hey, Ginny! Ginny with a G! You're smoking hot! Thanks! I'm like so excited about this date. Like, I couldn't sleep at all last night, but then when I finally did, I had the most amazing dream. <laughs> Dream off oh, for crying out loud. Tell me you're not one of those fantasy land worshiping nutbags. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up your negativity train. Dreams were invented so that people have something to do when they sleep. Thank God, because I would be so bored. Besides, I dreamt about you last night. Hello, newsflash. This just in. Laser Torpedo loves dreams. Loves them to pieces. Now, give me the deets and be as colorful as possible. Well, I was in a white dress, and you were in a lavender tuxedo, and- Bleh, Wrong! <laughs> it was nice meeting you, thanks for playing, but I gots to go. But I see you dating paired us, cause we're a 97% level of compatibility, and like, that's an A. And I've always been a C student, so like, this is kind of a big deal. I think I'm in love with you. Okay. There must have been an error in their calculations, because I specifically said I don't want to do this old dumb blonde thing again. My first wife, Harriet, she was one of those. And it really disturbed me when she cooked steak still wrapped in the plastic. To this day, my stomach is so jacked up that I have to ingest one teaspoon of plastic daily, or else I die. But you, like, didn't even give me a chance. I refuse to cook, so you won't even have to worry about getting tummy aches from me. Come on, just give me one chance to woo you. Look, I think it's pretty obvious that we are not two peas in one pot. I mean, I could have told you that after watching your bio video. What was that? Oh, Laser, let me clarify. Mr. Stencils is my cat soulmate, but you are my human soulmate. Don't be jealous. Ginny, Ginny. Listen to me, you're so pretty that I'm gonna pretend you didn't just say that. Oh, thank you! Look, I'll give you one more opportunity, but I gotta warn you, my boredom level is about to erupt all over this room. Uh, where'd you grow up? Nowhere's! Where do you like to go shopping? That's classified information. Favorite musician? Okay, now you're really starting to ring my alarm bells. Do you work for the Gubbies? I work at a coffee shop. I can smell a govy a mile away. Don't you mean coffee? No, a govy, the government. People out to get moi. I am not a govy. <sighs> oh, you're good, you. I see what you're doing, trying to charm me with your cutesy attitude and your beautifully kissable lips. I mean, <laughs> I for what? All right, all right, let's start fresh. I'm from New York. I love the European clothing styles of Europe. And favorite band? The Beach Boys. Full disclosure, their harmonies make me weep like a baby. I love the beach! I think it's a sign. Soulmates. Can you hear me? Can you stop conversing with you? Stop yanking my chains around! I said lavender tuxedo! Lavender tuxedo! Jenny, Jenny, come back! Jenny! Oh my god! Ugh, Trina! Ugh, my friend's been staying with me because her husband's a slut. And she keeps messing around on my computer, doing her stupid FBI stuff. She is so nosy. I mean, get your own love life and stop spying on mine, right? Does your friend work for the Govies? No, the FBI. That's the same thing. Are you sure? Because they're spelled differently. Ginny, the two of them is one and the same! Oh, well then, yeah. She keeps using my computer to track this guy who named himself Sexy Rhino. He sounds like a hottie if you ask me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Laser? That's your nickname! <gasps> Somebody stole your nickname! Laser? Did you black out? I know CPR! First, you blow in your mouth. <sighs> oh god, now I'm dizzy.